Hey everyone, it's Little Mike back with another episode of Feed the Beast Minecraft Style. I know, I know, it's been a very long time since I've recorded a new episode, and for that I apologize. Um, I do have real life concerns. I mean, I do work a full time job. YouTube is not my job, unfortunately, as cool as that may be, and uh, I know that some do make a living off of it. However, I am not one of them. I work in IT. And it is a very demanding job. But, uh, so I don't always have time to record when I want, or even play, honestly. But, uh, I promised you that I would, in a little update, if any of you subscribe to my channel, Don't Fear the Creeper MC on YouTube, uh, I did promise a video shortly, and so I felt I needed to deliver. You know, I didn't want to disappoint you guys. Anyway, alright, so, today, oh, pardon me, <coughs> excuse me. You'll have to forgive my voice. Um, my allergies are killing me today. So, ooh. Um, so I'm a bit congested. And a little sniffly as well. Anyway, I ramble. So today I wanted to get into bees. Um, oh, also, before I forget, I got a new microphone. I'm now recording audio using a Blue Yeti. A uh, whole big setup that uh, I got a gift card, so I went on a little shopping spree. And sounds good to me in my testing, but let me know in the comments if you like the sound, if you definitely hear the improvement. But, uh, alright, so, back to business. Today, uh, I want to get into bees. Now, bees are a very complicated, but they can be a very fun... Uh, mod to get into. Uh, we are currently running Minecraft 8.3.2. Uh, that was another uh, another reason for my lack of updates, honestly, is because the Minecraft packs have been updated. Uh, there have been two, up uh, three updates, actually, I think, since I last recorded. Uh, and they just seem to be coming so quickly, and we were all concerned about the state of RP2, and whether or not it was going to make the next pack, and when we were moving over to 1.5, and yada, yada, yada. Uh, point being that I decided I couldn't wait anymore, and I had to put out a video for you guys. Plus, you know, I enjoy it. I do this for fun. I don't do this, like I said, I, I work a full-time job, so I am obviously not doing this for money. I do it because I enjoy it. And um, so we're currently running 8.3.2, still on Minecraft 1.47 for the base. Uh, so there's going to be some things in here, like horses are not in yet, and, and any of that stuff, the new redstone changes and all that. Uh, so a lot of this is going to be basically the same as uh, the version that we were running the last time around, although some of the mods have been updated. Uh, for bees, there are both Thomic bees and extra bees mod installed in the Minecraft pack. So if you want to follow along, just make sure that whatever pack you're using, or if you're doing individual mods, includes extra bees as well as thomic bees. Now, most of that's not going to matter in the very beginning, but uh, as we progress, and I may do more videos, I don't know if this is going to be done all in one shot or if I'll make this a multi-parter, but uh, just keep that in mind, all right? All right, so the first thing that we are going to need for bees is, take a guess. And... nope. Nope. And... try again. Uh... nope. Nope. Not that either. Nope. Alright. Uh... So, first thing? An assembly table. What? What's... what you say? What... But, little Mike, what... what does an assembly table have to do with bees? Ah, grasshopper, you must learn patience. Uh... honestly, right off the bat, nothing. However... Very, very shortly, uh, it will be very handy to have use of autarthic gates, and that is made in an assembly table. So, uh, I already started running conduit here, and I put a little block here to put our assembly table, and an assembly table, actually, well, let me show you that, because if you don't know what an assembly table is... You will have no idea what I'm talking about. Okay, uh, assembly table. This guy right here. Now, uh, it's a little pricey. It requires five diamonds. 
uh, three obsidian, uh, six obsidian, and one redstone. And there goes my air conditioner. So I apologize if you hear that in the background. Uh, a diamond gear, which is four diamonds surrounding a gold gear. Gold gear is an iron gear surrounded by four gold. An iron gear is a stone gear surrounded by four iron. And a stone gear is a wood gear surrounded by four cobble. And finally, a wood gear is made with four sticks. Okay, so uh, an assembly table will make autothic gates, which you will use in your apiaries and later on your um, uh, alviaries for automation purposes. So I think it is a good idea to have one of those set up before you even begin to think about getting into bees if you do not have one already so that when the time comes uh, you'll be able to make gates and that won't be your bottleneck and you'll be able to you know get started on automation all right so with that said uh let's make an assembly table so as you saw right here that's the right oh actually it would help if i go to my crafting table wouldn't it La -da 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 -da. All right, so, an assembly table requires two pieces, the assembly table and lasers. So, let's start with the assembly table. So, as I said, six obsidian, redstone, diamond, and diamond gear. So, let's start with the gears, and I've laid out some of this stuff already. So, let's go here, and we have ourselves a wood gear, and then we surround that with four cobble and make a stone gear and surround that with four iron and make an iron gear and surround that with four oops nope sorry gold first four gold and get a gold gear and surround it by diamonds and finally we have our diamond gear okay so now we go back to that and we have ourselves and oh, wait for it and there we go. An assembly table. Voila. Okay. Now, the second thing... Well, actually, let's let's place that down. So, this is a scoop. I'll get to that in a minute. So, let's place that down. This place is a mess. I really need to rearrange this stuff. Alright. Boom. There's our assembly table. And the way this works, it works off of MJ, Michael Jackson's, or Minecraft Jewels, or whatever you want to call them, Michael Jordan's. And you put... Uh, inventory uh, ingredients in the left side and then it will show you recipes that it can create with whatever you have in here on the right side and this will be the little progress bar um, that'll show you you know how long until it's done creating whatever it is and you'll see a little red square around you click on whatever you want to make and it'll surround it with a red square and Whatever is highlighted with the red square is what it is currently making, and, you know, the bar will show progress. It will also output to a chest, if you want. Uh, we're not going to worry about that too much for now. Uh, the other thing... Uh, I said there's two parts to this. The other part is the laser. Now, the laser... Honestly, I don't remember what the limit is, but the more lasers you have, the faster the assembly table will assemble but it will start to take a lot of energy to do so. So, and it also takes a lot of resources. Uh, well, at least two diamonds a piece. So it, it can add up real quick, uh, or quickly, for the grammatically correct out there, which I am not always. Uh, anyway, so we'll go with three lasers to start with. So that's six diamond, uh, five, so 15 redstone, and six obsidian. So I have six obsidian and six diamonds and 15 redstone. So let's go back to my craft. Oh, actually, I have a project table. What am I doing? And an auto. Well, the auto crafting table won't worry about. All right. Uh, da -da -da -da. Oh, they fixed that. Cool. So this is actually aligned now. This was an issue in a previous version of NEI. I think it's NEI that does this. Uh, so, actually, we got to do this first because we don't have a plan for it. So, here, and you, and you, and we just leave these in here. That's one of the great things. These project tables, awesome. Uh, definitely handy if you if you make a lot of one particular thing because you just leave the ingredients in the little inventory here, and you can just 
click, 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 and it will take from that and create them all. Awesome stuff. All right, cool. So we have three lasers. Let us just plop them here, here, and here. Cool. Uh, arrow is facing the correct way. And I wonder... Hey, you know what? Let's grab some redstone. I just want to try this out. Oh, uh, one thing I will caution you to stock up on, again, before you start to get into bees, is ender pearls because ender pearls are a necessary ingredient to the autarkic or autarkic autark I, I, uh, I always forget how to pronounce that stupid thing here it is right here autarkic gate that is a mouthful maybe autarkic no I think it's a k Aut autarkic gate that thing this guy right here whatever however you pronounce it all right, anyway, so in order to make one of these guys, it is a gate, a redstone, iron chipset, and a pulsating chipset. Um, a gate is made with a redstone chipset. A uh, redstone iron chipset is redstone and iron. And a pulsating chipset, which is an enderpearl and redstone. So basically, you're going to need a lot of redstone and a little bit of iron and some enderpearls. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think I have... One ender pearl. Float it right. Yeah, here we go. Alright, so I have an ender pearl. Oh, let's grab some iron. Uh, iron. And where's my redstone? I am running severely low on redstone. Where did I. Oh, did I put it in there already? Where did I stick my redstone? Oh, I put it in there already. Okay, so. See that? Okay, so, again, you put ingredients in here, you know, your supplies in here, and you'll see the possible things you can create over here. Uh, I just want to make one of these. I wonder if... Eh, let's just do that. You click on that and see how it's highlighted? Now, that tells it what it's going to be creating. Uh, are these powered? Oh, you know what? My engines are not on. Let's turn those bad boys on. There we go. And that should power the... Ah, there we go. Now you can see the lasers going. See? And if we look at the GUI here, you see this starting to warm up, or however you want to look at it. Now, again, this is very, very slow. But, um... You know, you can always add on to this. I don't know what the maximum amount of lasers are. I've seen as many as, like, 15 or something like that. I think it might even be in the... I, I don't even know if there is a limit, honestly. But there there is a practical limit as far as how much energy you want to spend and how many resources you want to you want to use towards making lasers versus the actual productivity. I mean, this is fairly slow at three lasers, but, I mean, it's already about a third, a quarter to a third of the way done in just the few moments that I've been speaking about it. So, you know, not too bad. Whatever. Three is good enough for my purposes. Um, I'm not going to go crazy with that. All right, so we'll let this run while I speak a little bit more about bees, which is the original purpose of this video. Uh, first thing you will need is a scoop. Now, this scoop is almost dead, so I will go and create myself another one. Real easy. Uh, here, I'll show you. Scoop. There we go. There's a Thaumium scoop as well, if you have researched it in Thaumcraft. But the regular scoop is just five sticks. One, two, three, four... No, six, six, six sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six. And a piece of wool. Any color wool. So... Oh, I only have five sticks on me. Hang on. Ah, Dagnabbit. Do I have any... Oh, I might have... Yes, okay. Alright, so... Six sticks in a goalpost kind of formation here, and a piece of wool gets you a scoop. Now, the way the scoops work is in the wild, you know, out in the... 
Oh, that's almost done. Out in the world, you will find hives. Oh, it's nighttime, isn't it? Uh, let's just take a peek outside. Yeah, it's definitely nowhere near... No, it's nowhere near day. All right, so I'll just explain this a little further. And, uh, where am I going? Okay, I'll explain this a little further while we wait for daybreak. And then I will show you... Oh, there we go. And the pulsating chipsets pop out. Awesome. There we go. So now we can stick those back in here. And... We are working towards... Oops. A gate. Which, redstone iron chipset. So we'll start on one of those guys. And we'll just throw this back in the inventory right here. Uh, you saw how that popped out on the top right there. If you don't have a chest or, or some other inventory uh, for this to pop out, you know, for this to export into, it will just pop out on the top. So just be aware of that because you don't want to lose what you made after waiting all that time. Anyway, uh, scoops. You will find hives out in the wild. You know, they're found in the overworld... Um, in, in all different kinds of biomes. Different biomes will have different kinds of hives. So, for example, you could find... Let me see. I thought I remember there being a beehive somewhere around here. So, let me just take a peek while we wait. Uh, you can find them underground. You can find them in desert, in underwater. Uh... And depending upon what biome you are in, will determine what hives you will find in that area. Um, again, different kinds of bees. Rocky bees are ones that are found in underground areas. And rocky bees will also... The, the different kind of hive will determine the different species of bee, which will also determine different traits of the bee. For example... Three major tra traits are um, Cave Dweller, which means... Ooh, hello, Mr. Skelly T. Okay. Uh, cave Dweller, meaning it doesn't require the sun in order to work. There's also... Um, what is it? Flyer. Flyer means that it can work while it is raining. Uh, there's one more. It's Cave Dweller. I forget. Well, you know what? We'll, we'll get into that in a bit. First, and I don't see a hive over here, honestly. So let's go back. Oh, you know, let me check. Nope, nope. Uh, nope. No. All right, never mind. We'll have to find one outside. And where's my pick? Okay, back here. And seal this back up. All right, let me check on that iron chipset. Do 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 do. Oh, see that? That would have despawned had I not. Oh, that's another thing. It will create. It'll keep creating whatever it is you have selected until you click it again to deselect. So right there, I don't know if you caught that. It was actually trying to create another redstone iron chipset, but I do not want that because, uh, you know, I already. I, I just need one for now. Uh, so, a gate. I need a redstone chipset. And so let's do that. Click on that guy. Have it create a redstone chipset. Whoa! That apparently is created very quickly. Am I inventory full? What's going on here? Hello? Why you no collect? Oh, something's definitely buggy here. Okay. Uh, create another one, maybe? I am so confused. I don't know what's going on with these. Why? I have, like, ghost chipsets. Alright, well, whatever. Anyway. Oh, alright, cool. Daytime. Ah, oh, shoot. This is still making... Why you make so slow? Alright. You know what? Let's wait for this a little bit. And I shall take a drink. Pardon me. Okay, much better. Throat's getting a little parched. Ah, cool. 
All right, so there we go. Collected the one. I don't know what's going on with these ghosty versions. Let's uncheck that because we don't want it to make more. And you know what? We'll wait on the gate because it's daytime. I don't want to waste daytime. I want to go find a hive and show you what I mean. Okay, so let's go this way. Do, 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 do. Actually, you know what? Sometimes it's easier to find hives at night because they actually give off a little bit of light. So if you're, especially if you have a jet pack or something like that and you can fly around, um, you know, just look for spots where there are light sources and you can find yourselves. Ah, there's one right there. Now we probably won't be using this guy. I can tell you right now by the color of the hive, but I just want to show you how this works. So you take your scoop and you left click, not right click, right click won't do anything. Left click as if you were going to break it like it was a block. And see that? Bees pop out. And a comb popped out as well. Now, what you get in the hives will vary. It is a little random. Um, you'll always get at least a uh, at least two bees. A princess and a drone of some sort. These are wintry, as you can see. Um, that's because we are currently in a uh, tundra. You know, a, a wintry type biome. And uh, sometimes you'll get higher end bees, like a valiant bee. Don't worry about those for now. Honestly, the winter you don't want to worry about either. That's why I said I'm not going to use these. But I just wanted to show you how that works. Uh, and other times you'll also get a comb. Uh, the comb can be put in a squeezer to uh, get honey, which you will use later on. But for now, we're going to go back. Oh, here's... How did I miss these guys? All right, again, these are probably ones I won't use... Oh, I don't know what happened there. A water princess and a water drone. But we'll put them aside because you, you'll you find that bees don't stack often. Um, and you will collect a load of them. And you will find yourself overloaded with bees very quickly. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but I went ahead before I started recording and grabbed... Um, a couple of types of bees that I wanted to show you. The forest bees, which are found in forest biomes, obviously, and meadows, which can be found on plains. Um, there are other places as well, but those are the most common places to find them. These guys are the ones that you want to start with when you want to breed. Okay. Uh, now, the way bees work is you have a male and a female. But, you know, kind of like uh, the birds and the bees, just like that. When the mommy and the daddy get together and they make the baby bees and blah, blah, blah. So the princesses are the lady bees and the drones are the boy bees. And you can't mix and match. Well, you can mix and match uh, species, but you cannot mix and match. Uh, you cannot have same uh, gender bees, which makes sense. I mean, you know. As much as I am uh, very liberal thinking and uh, open-minded and all four same-sex couplings, uh, unfortunately, that does not result in a baby, um, at least not in any natural sense. So the same rules apply here. You have a princess and you have a drone. Now, what you want to do is if you wanted to make more forest bees, for example, you would take a forest princess and a forest drone and you would put them in an apiary or an alviary, and they will produce babies. The princess will become a queen, and it will start doing its thing, and then eventually the queen will die, and will yield uh, another princess as well as other drones. Now, for crossbreeding, in order to get the higher-end bees, you have to crossbreed. Crossbreeding is, is very specific in what species need to be crossbred in order... What the heck was going on over there? Did you see that? Um, it's very specific what species make what other species of bees. And I'll get into that later on. But for now, stick with your forest and meadows 
for now, just to start off with. Start with those guys. So, wow, this video is going on and on, and I'm just rambling like a maniac. All right, well, what is going on here? Oh, it's not making anything. I don't know what the heck is going on here. All right, let's start on that gate. Anyway, most important, the very first machine you will need for your bees is a carpenter. A carpenter is made with a sturdy casing surrounded by six bronze and two glass. Um, carpenters are from the forestry mod and they are uh, by far the first, the, the most important machine you will need to start out in bee breeding. So, let's think. Where do I want to put this guy? Uh, hmm, I guess I could just put it right there for now. Alright, so let's let's do that. Let's create... Do I have this stuff here? Yeah. Uh, sturdy casing is made with bronze in a chest shape like that. And then, as you saw, the bronze on the side like that. Two glass, and voila! We have ourselves a carpenter. Now, let's just stick them up there. The way the carpenter works, it requires... See how it says no recipe here? You need either water or seed oil um, in here, and your ingredients in here, and then it will put out whatever it is that you're looking to... Oop, to create. Ah, our target gate. There we go. All right, we'll create one of those bad boys. Anyway, now, the other thing that you will need right off the bat is a squeezer. Now, I already went ahead and made a squeezer, but uh, it's basically like the carpenter, uh, except tin instead of bronze. You still need the sturdy casing, which is the bronze, but, uh, you know, it's surrounded by tin instead. There's the gate. Okay, good. We're out of ingredients and whatnot there. All right, let's just stick that in there for now. All right, so squeezer, there we go. Now, squeezer, you will take seeds or honey. You'll be using it for many different things. For now, what we need is seed oil. So in order to get that, we need to put seeds in the squeezer, and that will give us seed oil. So let us do this. Is it all right? Yeah, there we go. See that? And this will start to produce seed oil. This will produce seed oil at an incredibly slow rate because these are just vanilla seeds and they yield something like 0 0.002 or 0 0.02 uh, buckets per seed. So it's going to take quite a while and quite some seeds to get any significant amount of seed oil. My recommendation... Ah, there you can see the tiniest bit of a line right there my recommendation is to start once you start getting into bees um is to start utilizing the bees to breed different trees as well um in 8.3.2 we do not have the most recent version of forestry however there are going to be some heavy nerfs to the amount of seed oil and whatnot that different things yield in the squeezer so for example chestnuts and walnuts will be a good source of seed oil um, but in order to get chestnuts you need to breed trees and walnuts you need to breed trees so you need bees in order to breed you need seed oil for apiaries to breed bees and you need bees to breed trees for seed oil i know it's this whole catch-22 nonsense but rest assured if you do like I'm doing, you know, you can get started at least. Uh, seed oil. What we need seed oil for. We all want to make ourselves apiaries, because that is the very basic thing that you need in order to start breeding bees. Now, apiaries are made with three slabs, uh, four, uh, five planks, and an impregnated casing. 
That is not a sturdy casing. That is an impregnated casing. Now, an impregnated casing is uh, eight logs, any kind of a log, in a carpenter along with some seed oil. Okay? And that makes an impregnated casing. Well, actually, I should make some uh, cans because I think I could throw cans in there. Let's see. Grab, do I have tin? I should have some tin. I think that'll work. I hope that'll work. Uh, tin. Yeah. All right. So what was it? Was that how you make it? No. Is it? Yeah. There we go. Cans. Okay. Let's see if this works. Do 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 do. Okay. Cans in here. Here. Yes. There we go. Seed oil cans. No. Oh, see that? That was one can. Almost an entire stack of seeds, and all it yielded was one lousy can of seed oil. Anyway, all right, so let's put this guy in, I think it's this spot. Is that spot? No, my, that spot. There we go. Yeah, the little water droplet. All right, so we have some seed oil in there. Uh, sticks. Oh, my bad. This is kind of like a... Just a pattern. It's like a shadow. It's not actually taking it. This is the actual inventory of the carpenter. So, impregnated... Oh, see, now I forgot how to make it. Hold on. Impregnated casings... Oh, not sticks. I'm thinking impregnated sticks. That's, that's something for later on. Alright, so, eight logs. So, let me grab some wood... Well, I am derping so badly today, and this video is running super long, so I'm going to pack this up real soon, I think. But uh, I just want to at least get the basics going here. All right, uh, right click. If left click with an item to add it to the recipe here, right click to remove it, just so you know. All right, so left click with these guys, and there we go. So this is making right now. And it used up a little bit of the seed oil. And come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, oops. Let's remove that recipe. Alright, so we have our impregnated casing. And now we need some slabs and some planks. So let's, let's grab some of those. Oh, I left it in here, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Do do. Okay. Make some of those. Oh, need more planks. Whoa, what did I do here? I made way too many. Wow, I'm so derpy. All right. So now we got our impregnated casing, our oak planks, and three slabs, and bam! We have ourselves an apiary. Woohoo! All right. And of course, it is nighttime yet again. Dag nebbit. All right. So. I'll explain the apiary, and then if it's daytime, well, I'll wait. I'll explain while we wait for daytime, and then we'll actually go outside and use it. Now, each bee, which, uh, again, the species are all going to vary what they need, what their traits are, and whatnot. But the basics, you take yourself an apiary. In here, you put yourself, well, here, I can do that much, actually. It just won't do anything, because... We're underground. Uh, forest princess. Forest, well, actually, let's let's go with the meadows. We'll do mix and match. All right. So you put yourself a princess in here. You put yourself a drone in here, and then they make a babies. There we go. And now we have ourselves a queen. Now, right here, it's yelling that it's not daytime because it's not daytime. Uh, this right here is the temperature and humidity. Each species of bee can only tolerate 
certain temperatures and certain humidities. Uh, forest and meadows are basically normal, normal. You know, if you're in a normal biome, uh, you can breed any of those guys together without issue. Um, you won't be able to put the apiary in a desert, for example, let's say, because it'll be too, I think it's arid humidity. Uh, you know, it'll be too dry for them. They can't take that kind of uh, weather. So just make sure that you're in the proper biome for the proper bee that you're trying to breed. And later on, you can actually change that using uh, Isolator. You will be able to do some little gene splicing, mad scientist-y kind of work and, uh, you know, change traits of bees. But for now, uh, normal, normal, uh, forest and meadows, just keep that in mind. Uh, again, daytime, that's another thing that you can change at some point. Nocturnal, uh, is the, the trait for that. And nocturnal bees, like the rocky bees, are naturally nocturnal. They can operate during the, oh, that was it. It was nocturnal, uh, flyer, and cave dweller. Cave dweller means it doesn't have to see the sun. It can be done in a cave underground. Nocturnal means it can work at night. It doesn't need daylight, daytime, uh, which is different from nocturnal from a uh, cave dweller. But they're they're similar. You know, one one is has to see the sun. The other is daytime versus nighttime. Not sun versus not sun, but day versus night. So even though they may seem the same, they're actually different. And then of course, flyer means uh, rain or no rain. You know, if, if they're a flyer, they're able to operate in the rain because normally your bees will not fly around and do their bee thing if it is raining. So uh, let's take this queen out and check on the day. Do, 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 do. No, we're getting there. Not not quite there yet. All right. So I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about this. Another aspect of bee breeding, uh, of the bees, is the flowers that they need in order to work. Because bees pollinate flowers, as we all know. So, um, forest and meadows, usually any vanilla flower should be fine for that. So what that means is that you need to have a flower of whatever type they work with near the apiary um usually i believe the default is nine by six by three so that means like four blocks on either side by uh like oh maybe it's nine by five something like that or yeah and then two up and two down or something like that um put it within two blocks or so and you'll be fine just look at it like that so, do we have any flowers on us? No. Let me look in here. I would start with vanilla flowers, because they work. Um, you only need one. One is good enough. Um, and one will actually support more than one apiary. As long as it's within the range of the apiary that the bee works, uh, you know, it's fine. So, you could just use one flower like two blocks away let's say and then another two blocks away you could have another apiary or you know even if you want to go one and then a flower and then another apiary and then another apiary here and here for example or and stick the flower in the middle uh, one flower will actually cover all four of those guys because it's still within range so that's that's all we need ah cool all right so sunlight let's break this bad boy down okay And we're just going to plop this down right over here. And I already have a flower here. I didn't need to grab one. Forgot about that. Oh, hello. Pardon me. I'm trying to record here, buddy. All right. So got the apiary. Put the queen back in there. Boom. That stops telling us that we have no queen. And we see the bees. You can actually see, it's it's actually a little bee, I don't know if you can catch it there, it's actually a little bee uh, particle that's flying out there. And they're going off and pollinating the nearby trees and, and all that stuff and flowers and having a good old time. And as you can see, everything is hunky-dory over here. Now, over on the left side over here is the lifespan. That creeper is really... I do not fear him, 
<laughs> Don't fear the creeper. But... There we go. Okay. So, uh, this is the lifespan of the queen. When this reaches down to the bottom, she will produce her offspring. Now, different species of bees have different offspring. Wintry bees, for example, the reason I say don't use them is because they only have one offspring. So you can never... You'll always be uh, net zero when you breed them. You know, you have your one princess, one drone, one princess, one drone, one princess, one drone. You can never create more. So uh, that's why I say stay away from wintry bees. The forest and meadows, I think it's two or two to three is their standard yield um, of offspring. So they're fine. Use those guys to start out with. Um, these spots right here are for frames. Now, this episode is getting way too long, and I'm going to wrap this up in a, in a minute or two. But uh, just briefly, I want to explain the apiary. In here is where it'll show the offspring once the queen dies, as well as any products that the bees create. So honeycombs and stuff like that, they'll show up in one of these spots, as well as the offspring. And in here, you would put frames. Frames can be used for many different things. Um, soul frames, for example, which I will get into in the next video, uh, are used for mutating. So when you want to breed bees and you want to have a higher chance of getting one of the higher end bees, you know, the, the next tier of bee, you can use soul frames and that will increase your chances by, I think, the current, in the current version of forestry, well, the, the version of forestry in 8.3.2 Minecraft is 50% um, chance increase uh, per frame. So three soul frames would be 150 uh, percent boost to the mutation rate. So if, let's say, a, a forest and a meadows will get you a common bee. Um, let's say the chance is normally 15 percent. So 15 times 1.5, that's what 150 percent would mean. Uh, so let's say, okay, so half of 15 is seven and a half, so seven times 3, 21, 22, so 22 plus 15, 37, yeah, right, 22, 15, yeah, 37, so instead of a 15% chance to mutate, it will have a 37% chance to mutate, and I think my math is right, I think, anyway, so, all right, again, this has gone way, way, way too long, but those are B basics, um, and I don't know if we'll do it next episode or maybe in a future episode, but I'll go over the frames and other type of machines that we will need when first starting out to get your bee breeding going. All right. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Um, I hope you enjoyed my rambling and derpiness. I know, guys, I'm out of practice. I apologize. But uh, like I said, I wanted to get a video out to you guys. And, you know, get things going, because it's been a while, and, and I really enjoy Minecraft, especially Feed the Beast. And I do enjoy making these videos for everybody. It's just that real life has gotten in the way, and hopefully I will get a chance to update more frequently. Much more frequently than, you know, every couple months. I mean, you know, at least once a week I would like to shoot for. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens. But if you give me a like, thumbs up share, all that fun stuff. Heck, just leave me a comment and tell me you like the video, honestly. That's good enough for me. Uh, and then let me know what you want to see in any other videos, and, you know, hopefully I will provide for you. All right, so once again, I am Little Mike for Don't Fear the Creeper MC on YouTube, and I'm signing off. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.